Hey, what it do, baby? What it do? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your host, Zai Az, the incredible man himself. No, I'm just playing. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful Veterans Day, a wonderful day. Thank you to the veterans who have served and continue to serve. I am very grateful of it, very happy of it, and I love you all, and I hope you all continue to succeed and continue to have that heroic mentality in the world today that we so desperately need. Now, before I get into the video, this is an unorthodox style of video that I do. I do commentaries like this all the time, as you guys have probably seen already. However, today we're going to be talking about a little bit of gaming news. I'm not planning on doing this a lot. It's just for this video particular, because Titanfall 3 is now being rumored to be released next year, next fall. And the reason I'm saying that it's being rumored is because Battlefield is not coming out till 2021. We don't know if it's Battlefield 6 we don't know if it's Battlefield, Bad Company 3, prayers, 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 but we just don't know. We don't have any confirmation at this point. We just know that it's going to be released in 2021 from what Jack Frag said. And this lends a lot of speculation for me and for the Titanfall community that Titanfall 3 will come out next year on the next gen consoles. Now this makes a lot of sense because this year we had two respawn games, we had Apex Legends, and now we have the Star Wars game that's coming out this weekend on the 15th. But everybody and they mama wants a Titanfall 3. Titanfall 2 was one of the best games that I had ever played from a first person shooter narrative and also the story was really good. I also really liked it for multiplayer and they really never added a third mode. I don't really think it needed a third mode but it was just really really good and I think if you clicked on this video you probably agree. Now why am I speculating that it'll come out next year? Now here's my main reason why alright I'm gonna give you a little bit of side notes but my main reason is Battlefield 1 got delayed another year. If EA and their brilliancy and their oh my goodness amazing scumbaggery <laughs> i can't stand ea either they want to make as much money as possible we know how ea is and their surprise mechanics and all that yada 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 bullshit but if they're smart they want to make as much revenue a year as possible that's the point of a business that's the point of being a publicly traded company that's the point of all of that jazz that investors are looking for now what's the best way for them to do that what well, would be releasing a yearly FPS title? You look at Call of Duty, you look at other games, FPSs are really dominating the market for the majority other than probably MOBAs, you can make that argument for MOBAs, but generally shooters are really the successful title. And they already have one successful title with Battlefield if they get their shit together. And if they add Titanfall to the mix and they drop it on a yearly cycle, that's a year revenue that they're making that is just gonna extend their pockets and make them even more money hungry, which we really should be praying for. But we know EA is going to do whatever they do regardless. Now, what is the best way for them to drop Titanfall 3? Last time Titanfall came out, Titanfall 2, they dropped it between one of their own games, Battlefield, and they dropped it between Call of Duty. Terrible idea, terrible marketing, and a lot of us speculate that they did that so that they could kill the Titanfall franchise, the respawn IP, and then try to take it from there and just use it as their own greedy I don't know. I just don't know why EA does stuff like that because it's going to hurt them in the long run. But the people who run EA obviously don't know what they're doing. Now, it seems like EA is getting their shit together or some of the stuff at EA is getting their shit together because they're giving Respawn more video games. Now, you guys know how I feel about Respawn Entertainment. I really do adore them. I think these guys are really good at making video games. I think Vincent Pella was one of the best and is one of the best developers ever. I really love his creativity, his direction, and how he attacks games as a whole. And I love everybody who really works at Respawn from Modern Warfare 2, the first Modern Warfare, the first Titanfall, and the second Titanfall. Now, historically, we really haven't seen this development team make a third title. And I don't know why that is. They really just love making one and two, and then they kind of just disappear. That's happened with Call of Duty. That happened with previous titles before Call of Duty. I just don't know what these guys are going to do and what it is that they're going to do with titanfall 3 but i am just speculating that next year in the fall would be the most perfect time to drop it because could you imagine titanfall 3 getting its own launch window getting its own creative space to just have a whole year dedicated to them and they compete directly with call of duty one we would get a better call of duty call of duty is going to know what the hell's up against it the competition and i'm all for competition because call of duty is always slacking and always half-assing their games on releases and we need that to change number two i think it would give titanfall the resources and the respawn entertainment community just enough resources to just dedicate towards a whole game show the world how much of a great game designer vince appella is and those people over at respawn entertainment for them to take back the fps crown not only that just to show how well-rounded and good they are at making fundamental games apex was the first time in a long time that these guys have had their own shine and they did have it for a little while even though i do not like the idea of splitting up a development company to make two different games but we'll see how star wars works out and maybe that'll be the drive that lets ea let loose respawn entertainment and make as many games as they want 
hire as many people as they can and just develop a lot of video games as possible because that's all what i'm for man i'm for great video games and whoever makes great video games i want a lot of them all right anyways let me know what you guys think about this video what do you think about apex legends how respawn handle apex legends what do you think about the new star wars coming up from respawn entertainment and do you think titanfall 3 will launch next year i'm excited for it i hope it does again the only thing that i have that is speculative on it is that battlefield won't be coming out next year so ea needs something to fill the void and the only thing people are going to want to buy from ea at this point is respawn games so we're just gonna have to wait and see please drop titanfall 3 i'm on a rhyme right here i don't know what rhymes with that <laughs> anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video it's your boy zai az bless up i'll see you in the next one I got that summertime.